Hello there, it's Darren here, back again. As you can see, it's still fermenting two weeks later. Uh, I'm going to the next stage. I should be putting them in the demi jars. I've only got two. Hard to get them. Uh, it will go. I've tried for two weeks to get some. Can't get any. Uh, there's a local place where I live. Uh, that's got none either. You can get them on eBay, but I'm a bit worried about getting them because when I read some of the comments, uh, they turn up in the smash because they're not that strong, some of the demi jars, quite thin glassed. Maybe that's true, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to be transferring to this bucket here. Uh, it has been sterilised. As you can see, with the sterilised cleaner. Uh, it's been in there for over 10 minutes, it's been swilled around. I'll pour it out. You can reuse that again if you're doing bottles. Uh, wash the bottles out with that and then swim that water, so I'm going to empty that. So a little water, that'll be ready. Uh, the pipe is obviously being sterilised, near was sterilised. Water in here. Remember, sterilise everything. I'm going to have a little taste and see what it's like. Hopefully it isn't like vinegar. Fingers crossed. So as you can see, I'll uh, give a little bit of suck on the end there. Uh, it's coming out. A little bit of a taste there. Bloody strong. I'll get a proper taste in a minute. Put in a cup and see what happens there. Eh? So we'll see how long this takes to siphon off. See you in a minute. It's siphoned off. The original barrel has been cleaned, washed, uh, hot water, soap, and rinsed out, and then sterilised for about 10 15 minutes. Sterilised solution, uh, gone down the sink, swilled out again with water, so that's clean. Uh, obviously when I siphoned all the scum that was in the barrel has gone. It was 25 litres, so I think I've got 21, 21 and a half. There was a lot of scum in the bottom, so I don't want to get too much into the barrel in the day. It's still wine, isn't it? Uh, as you can see, you know, it's quite cloudy. I'll have a taste. Yeah, I'll have a taste. Mm. I can definitely taste alcohol in it. I don't know whether it's me, whether because it's, it feels so alcoholic at the minute, it's got a bit of a Acidity, acidity, I can't see the word, acid sort of taste, I don't know. Uh, but it's still sweet. Obviously I'm going to transfer it again back into this sterilised barrel. Uh, and let it have another two weeks still fermentation because obviously it was still bubbling away. Uh, it's got a nice fizz to it. I've had a couple of glasses and I can feel the alcohol a bit. So, God knows how much it's going to be. I could use the hyd hydrometer, but um, I'm going to do that later on. Uh, obviously, like I say, this is sterilised cleaning. You've got Camden tablets. I'm quite sure you meant to put that in beforehand, before you put the yeast in. Uh, the same as the Pectolas. That was meant to go in beforehand to clear it and sterilise it to stop the fermentation. Uh, I'm going to put some of the Pecto loss into the barrel. I don't think it's going to affect the fermentation. I don't know. Let us know. Uh, so we'll get that done. So as you can see, going back in the barrel, it says on here, uh, one or two teaspoons uh, for this is 20, 23 liters, five gallons. Uh, I've just added a couple and see what happens. Maybe I'm wrong doing it, maybe I should have done it beforehand. But, you have to learn, don't you? So, let that happen. Back in the air and cupboard. I'll bubble away for another two weeks and close this again and see if I can get some, uh, what do we call it, demi jars. And let that settle down. And then do it again and again until I get a nice clear one. Hopefully, the the pectolos is meant to like clear a little bit, I think. So, 
and we'll see what happens. I've got some uh, the filings, the fine things, so I've got that as well. See what happens. Okay. So you see, I've ended up with 22 litres, just under. After taking all the stuff out and just trying to get as fine as I can, I've lost about three litres. I don't know. Plus, I've been drinking some. Uh, whether I'll try it or not, I tried, did try to get as much as I could out, but I felt the stuff getting sucked in, so I just chucked the rest out. Don't worry. Still 22 litres of alcohol, so we'll let that settle down for two weeks, maybe ferment a little bit more, I don't know. Should I add a little bit more yeast? Any advice? Cheers. Let's see what happens eh? in two weeks. So it's in there for another two weeks, see what happens. Uh, this is my first wine, so I don't want to expect. I wish in a way I had somebody to help us out, obviously. It's great watching videos, uh, but it does get a bit of a a mind muddle of like trying to work it all out. You know, I have sterilised everything. I made sure of that. Uh, I don't know whether to get a different sort of steriliser, whether that's good enough. Uh, whether it's better to use baby steriliser, use them bottles. I don't know. Let us know. You might use something different. You know, I use it and it hasn't got much of a sterilised smell. It has a little bit, but not much compared to the stuff used for the baby bottles. Uh, so if there's anything you recommend let us know like I say as I had a taste of it and obviously when I first opened the barrel it had that overpowering smell of like alcohol but I thought does it smell like vinegar I don't know it doesn't taste like vinegar you would I think I would know but it's got a slight smell of it I don't know whether that's just the alcohol that's making you think that it's like vinegary I don't know it doesn't taste vinegary it's sweet but it's definitely got an alcohol kick a little bit. I can feel it myself uh, now. A little bit of a alcohol here. So uh, in two weeks' time, do it again. Like I said, I put the pe pe uh, loss. Should put in beforehand, but I put in after. Listen, it's all learning curve. Uh, so if you've got any more tips out there, let us know. It'd be great. You know, remember this is my first time watching plenty of videos, and I'm trying to learn. So hopefully this will be a fantastic wine. Okay, see you in two weeks' time for video number four to see what it's like. See you later.